What's up YouTube? What's up world? This is Monkey Mark back with another video. And first up and foremost, I'd like to say Happy Virgin Islands History Month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The month of March has been designated as Virgin Islands History Month. So that's where there'll be month long celebrations um, throughout the month. And I will be taking you to some of them, as we will see. The video today, as you can tell by the title, there is a Madras fashion show that I went to the other day. That's why I'm wearing my little Madras shirt that you could get a copy of if you go on my website um cop that merch for yourself which is myviprints.com and you could purchase your t-shirt for down t-shirts now in observance of virgin islands history month i will be coming up with a special um virgin islands t-shirt i'll put like a picture right up here to, to the side of me so you can check out what it look like but it should be available for sale by the time this video drops so y'all go check it out as well um also what I'll be doing on the channel, I'll feature their four weeks in a month, of course. In some cases, probably five. I'll do one week, I'll do an informational video like what I did last week, where you see me sitting down. Like I am now just talking to you about something related to the Virgin Islands. Um, number two, I'll be doing a hiking video. Number three, I'll be going to an event that's happening on the island someplace. This month, we get lucky, we're gonna have two events that I'll be going to. Next one will be next week, which is the, it is called the Afternoon on the Green, which is put on by UVI. It's held on the campus of the University of the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas campus, right over here on St. Thomas on the golf course. And last but not least, uh, the last video that I'll be doing during the month will be me featuring someone, a Virgin Islander who's doing their thing anywhere in the world, man. So big things popping right here on the channel. Want to say again to you guys, thank you. You guys for all your support, your comments, your likes, your everything that you've been doing for me. Just watching the videos because I am, as of the beginning of this month, I have hit 3,000 subscribers. So way to go. Basically, I've been doing this for about three years, so that's averaging about 1,000 new subscribers every year. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I'm um, looking forward to bigger and better things right here on the channel, all right? Let that intro drop. VI to the world, 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 world. <laughs>
I'm dancing all these tears away No time for bad love, bad love, bad love I'm dancing all these fears away Don't need you than myself that you can do anything you can do anything and we can take the Virgin Islands anywhere made in the Virgin Islands just like China bring it here we can bring it there so that's what motivates me with this um, winter coat so we can go anywhere in the Virgin Islands anywhere in the world so that's for me here and thank you and you design out of which island right here in St. Thomas all right. Round of applause for Zephora Letzum and Zeal Fashion. Thank you. And thanks to Miss Kelch and Miss Kelch. I mean Miss Ken for helping me to do this. All right. Thank you.
Okay. So you, you have to say it for me the way it should be said. Pronounce the name. In French, it's Tref. In a regular good old English, it's Treffle. <laughs> so I'll take Treffle. The other one has sound better. Tref. Tref. I didn't break down my tongue. Treffle. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Kristen. Yes. BBI. BBI. The first one that came out in an outfit was that? That was the British Virgin Islands national fabric. So that was our right. official fabric, yes. And I wanted you to know that. Yes. You know it? You've seen yeah, it? You know, and they always, that's one of the things I really enjoy about BBI that. That, you know, that nationalism, that, you know, hey, they come up with their fabric and usually you see lots of designs with that, so that was a nice way to start it off. Thank you. So how did you get into design? I have been sewing so, since the age of seven. I have been officially... Wait, 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 wait. Are you here at seven? Here at the age of seven? I had a round towards it. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a third generation seamstress and fashion designer, so for those of you that know Clover's in Tantola, which was started in 1962, that was, that's my grandmother's store that I now manage, so I'm third generation. And to be clear, Treffle is also French for Clover, so I named the company after my late grandmother. Oh, I didn't even realize that you were a Clover. Yes. That is correct. Mm. Right. So what, what, what inspired you with the design today? So what I decided to do, because I've been in the business for 14 years, this is my 15th year with my brand, so I decided to kind of incorporate the styles that I have coming out this year into um, your official Madras. So I just basically merged it, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Kristen Fraser, say it for me. Well. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Thank you so much. Round of applause. I can do it for your style. Truffle. She been ready to go. Come, come, come. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Music, Marcus, music.
A pleasant good evening to one and all. I am Kristen Isaac Ward, an 11 year old sixth grade honor roll student attending New Testament Academy. I am the beloved son of Crystal Isaac and the late George Ward. I am totally excited to be a participant in the 2023 Prince and Princess show. I believe that all of us must endure to preserve this age old tradition of Prince and Princess with all our might, our intelligence, and our actions. I consider myself an advocate for this cause. And so I stand before you here tonight asking you, if not us, who? And if not now, when? Yes. We are the guardians of our culture, and we must preserve it so that the future generation can enjoy it as we did. So this carnival, let us be that bright light, illuminating our culture for the world to see. St. Thomas Carnival 2023. I'm your Prince Contender number one, Kristen as of one. Thank you. Pleasant good evening to one and all. I am Ambassador Carnival contestant number one, Shanice Shanae Mater. It is truly a pleasure to witness this cultural display at this fashion show tonight. If you think this is sweet, come on down to the UBI Sports and Fitness Center where you will witness a night of elegance, poise, and intellect on April 15th at the UBI Sports and Fitness Center. See you there. Historians have documented this time of year to be a time of culture and mass. This year, I, Tayel Janai Gift, proudly stand before you, ready to participate in the largest culture project in the Virgin Islands. This year, I have carefully marked my calendar, for this is the year that I proudly accept to be your 2023 St. Thomas Carnival Queen contestant number two, Tayel Janai Gift. Thank you.
doing well here. Where are you from? I am from the beautiful island of St. Croix. How long have you been designing? Um, this actually makes 20 years. I started when I was two. <laughs> you started when you were two? <laughs> I started in Arthur Richards Junior High School. Wow. Ah, the Rachel's right now moving to the uh, Yeah, okay. So, so you, what, what inspired you? You have a different set of designs. Everything, yeah. Yeah. there's something for every season now. Definitely, I design for just anybody. It's how I feel at the moment. And everything for me is always a happy day, so I just like to express that in my clothes. So I don't necessarily do like the whole inspiration is whatever I feel like creating that day. So I hope you never wake up vexed. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up, man, you don't have a problem. Nothing will be done. Nothing will be done. You're gonna see that piece of rock like what? Well, yeah. Ain't gonna be a piece of paper, be a piece of cloth. <laughs> a pretty piece of cloth. Now that's a rough one. Yeah. Beautiful one, and a leak, everybody. Splendor of Madras. Introducing your flight attendant this evening. I am your flight attendant this evening. For your safety and the safety of those around you, please remain seated and keep the runway clear until we are parked at the gate. Let's get this party started.
always a pleasure to be here. So, as said, the Byron Jackson gave you a little brief history about the head tie. I'm going to extend it and talk a little bit more. In my hand, I have a 100% cutting via Madras that is cut half that slurry, that is cut 36 by 36 by 36 square. As he mentioned, the starch was cooked. That's what you used to use argo starch. The reason why we don't use argo starch anymore is because when you start with argo, it leaves the white residue. So I don't use steer flu. Who went to school in the 80s and 90s, I used to dip your pants in steer flu. I walked down the hallway. Shh, shh. It was steer flu you used to use. So I dip it. I don't like the feel of it, so I wear gloves. It's very weak. I let it set overnight so the material have an opportunity to set. And then I hang it out, and as Senator Jackson mentioned, the four points is the most important part of this fabric. Because that's the points that are is showcase. Then it has to be a sunny day. Don't tell me boss that I don't go walk that day. Right, you see that? So after it's hanged out for at least a sunny day is maybe it take 15, 20 minutes and then it's dry. And then I carry it inside the house. I don't allow it to dry on the line because the wind is very, you know, the wind will knock out the starch. So I got a place in the house that I don't hang it out in and then it gets very stiff. It depends on who ties, how stiff they like it. I don't like it too stiff because you have to have strong hands to pull and tug. As Senator Jackson mentioned, Mr. Bradley Christian, they have Ms. Shalita Shan, and they have myself. We all tie differently. Everyone has their own techniques, everyone has their own style. No three person is going to tie alike. So don't watch somebody and tie and ask me to tie the same way. Because as Adisa mentioned, it's how you feel. How you feel is how it's going to turn out. Okay, so again, we're here. So after here, then I fold it. This is how I fold it and I iron it first, after I take it off the line. After I take it off, after I take it off the line, this is how I fold it. And then I put a one, one inch crease. The reason for the one inch crease is so it has a bag. And this is the trick. Because everybody will put a five inch, 10 inch bag. The smaller the bag, the better you tie it. So I recommend maybe two, three inches. And that's it. That tree, Shalina does it. So this is the first, this is the first step, this first step. Your hair has to be down. It can't be fancy doo-doo. It has to be down because if it's up, it will take away from the material. And you want to be able to use the entire material when you tie the head. So it's also a sequence of knots that we're going to tie. I'm going to tie two knots. So the first knot is going to be in the front. And why the lady having her head tied, she's holding it in place, because there's a lot of pulling, there's a lot of tugging. But like I said, you have to have really strong hands. And the lady has to tell us when it's too tight. And then from the first that is a series of gathering.
gathering to pull the material together. And then you gather, and then another that, that goes behind the gather. And then this way covered with cover pins with the with the plastic on top comes into place. Is that finished yet? So don't lose the idea. So we're gonna put some pins in it to hold it in place. And it's so it, it's so remarkable that after the ID take this off tonight, this can stay just like that for at least six or seven months. As long as you take old newspaper and stuff the head. And just put it someplace that is not going to be bothered, that is going to be left alone, and it will stay that way for months. Shalita and other dancers has her time from last year, July, that we tied and that it's already it stayed intact. Now when it starts to flap, then it's time to wash and restarch. I always recommend it to be washed, wash out the whole starch. Let me restart it again, and then, and then, and then it gets stiffer. Because if you leave the starch in it and you wet it, you have to start all over again. So again, at this point, there's a series of pulling and tugging, and this is where your creativity comes into place because like 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 I said certain things Shalita does I don't do certain things I do Shalita don't do so there you go right in front of your face tying it behind my dress from back to front from back to front Come down the road with me. You've been stepping all here. Step, step down. Back on some music, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so again, we had earlier we selected some some models from various designers and we have them to model. Now, again, I, I would say this particular style of the way how we do the Oh, 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 oh,
who did the food for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Miss, pa I don't see Pamela. Pamela Toussaint, who assisted us at the door. We have our bartenders, Shade and Melissa. Thank you, Sheldon, for assisting us always as our MC. Rico Center, again, we definitely have to thank. I'm forgetting somebody. Um, I'm forgetting. Everybody that assisted us, we, <laughs> we thank you. Please, please, please don't hold it against me if I cannot call your name. Um, thank you, Nadine and former Senator Jackson for assisting us with the panel again so generously. Um, the designers and the models, we thank you, thank you, thank you. Can we have the designers back out on stage? Jamal, Adisa, Miss Letsum, Lurleen, Truffle. The dance of the dancers. I think, okay, so while they're coming, um, yes. So this is our second annual fashion show. We had the first one last year on St. Foy. You guys think we should do it again next year? Yes! Definitely. Okay, guys. Just see that. Yes. I just want you to know, right? I didn't play you over here. It was your way. White and orange and yellow. Uh -huh. and I, the, I really want you. Well, the, 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 the beige, whatever it is, and the woman next to her with the bag and a lap and a shoe put up. Yes. But telling everybody that you take off your heels. I, I did. So, you know. They were just telling everybody. I, I, I know, um, ladies, you know, we put on our heels, but we want to be cute, and then when you have to walk, you have to put on, but they're the same color. And the same color, I'm just leaving you know that they were talking about your shoe. <laughs> They get in notice. <laughs> so we have our designers. <laughs> can you guys take a walk on the runway again so we can the fabulousness? Thank you. I'm all drunk and lovely the raw. These are our These are homegrown designers with our homegrown madras material. The talent that we have in the Virgin Islands. Fraser. We gave each designer 10 yards of the VI Madras and told them 
to be as creative as they possibly could, and this is what they produced tonight for you guys. Give them another round of applause. Any, anybody want to participate in the gym? You want to design me to do your thing, you know? Look at models? Yeah. Look at models of all age. Uh -huh. All ages. Boom, bam. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, model on stage. Woo. <laughs> Music, Marcos. Music. <laughs> Music, Marcos. <laughs> we got you. Next year for sure. Well, you know, it's funny because last year we didn't have any males and we didn't have any children. So this year, you know, so last year was our first year. We just had all St. Croix designers. This year we have the BBI and St. Thomas. We had children, we had males. So next year we're definitely getting bigger and better. But here's the kick. We're going back to St. Croix next year. So all of you have to book your tickets early so you can meet us at St. Croix at the doorstep. <laughs> Okay, so Mr. Jackson said I have to do one at each island, so he's going to help us get sponsorship money. So let's just have Mr. Jackson a round of applause for that suggestion. But thank you everybody for coming out. We appreciate you. We appreciate your support. Look out for, if you haven't liked the VI Council on the Arts Facebook page or you haven't subscribed to our newsletter, please do. You'll find out all the fabulous things that we do at the VI Council on the Arts. The bar is still open. I'm Thank you guys all again. Have a safe evening. Get home safe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Before you go, we have one of our grantees that'd like to make an announcement. She has an event coming up with the Diana Draft. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Dana Knight. I'm creative designer of Stuart Knight Made. I see a few people are wearing my accessories tonight. Thank you. So, um, I was sponsored by the Council of the Arts to put three different crafting events together for the crafter. Um, my first event was three weeks ago. I had a mug blinging workshop where I had a mug of a lady figure with a cultural component to it. And I had different participants who came and they blinged their mark and it was just so beautiful. Um, next week, Saturday, my second event, well the first event, sorry, was in honor of Black History Month. This event coming up next week is in honor of VI History Month. And I wanted each participant to make something that they could wear for the month of March for VI um, History and also for Carnival in April. So what I have on right now, the Madras button necklace, is what we'll be making next week Saturday with some earrings, okay? Anyone who's interested, I have some flyers to the website to purchase your ticket. I also have an other example with a different Madras, okay? I see you got the you got a model, you gotta walk and run with baby. You gotta walk and run with baby. So this is a necklace everyone will be making. If you're interested, please let me know. Music Marcos, music. <laughs> My third event will be in May for Mother's Day. And that will be coming soon. Will be another bling with an inspired mattress concept. Okay, thank you.